the anxiety you feel. It's because you saw something, yes? Something you were not meant to see. So, you know about that too. What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. The Masters of the Nightwind have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. It's just... Using this power on the Pyro Archon has always been seen as a taboo. And you did it anyway? W what, what did you see? Death. How? Oh. A key part of Mawika's plan is using the six heroes to release the power Shabalanke obtained from the Ruler of Death. Considering its origins, the price of using that power is death. You, you're saying Mawika is going to die in this war against the Abyss? Yes. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. Don't forget, Sidlali. Even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Fate indicates what will happen in the future. The time, manner, and place are all predetermined. But death is different. Death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Mawika to triumph over the abyss. But she must offer her own life in the process. The ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of a death. She simply guarantees that it will occur. Fate may be able to influence the timing, but that is all the Traveler can change. If, 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 wait, you're, you're saying we might be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome? I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. Mawika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes. I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Well, I can't! She's so strong! She never gives up, never rests until a problem is solved. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her death. The Traveler shares that quality. That's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together, I know they can overcome the impossible. Be it fate... or death. We shall have to wait and see, but I will curb my expectations. Hey, Traveler, Paimon! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, hey, Seat Lally! What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. What? Are, are you serious? Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the Ruler of Death's power. That price is death. And only Mawika's death can clear the debt. I had thought that the Ruler of Death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Natlan come together and fight so bravely. But... Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Mawika. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. But if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it. Mum's the word. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written into the Night Kingdom, and this will help you to stand against the Abyss. It is still not enough. All this can do is give my people courage. It will not see us through a true catastrophe. 
If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. You are the greediest human I have ever met, and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death, and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? I need that power. Only a hero can truly wield it, and heroes are not afraid of dying. No, a fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the Abyss, and it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength and reach heights that even I cannot dream of. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade, and I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement and claim that treacherous Shibalamke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. 